So it was time to add some sensors to the maker bit. So the first one I did was an HCSR04, which is an ultrasonic distance sensor, that thing right there. It's got four pins to plug in. Uh, one is five volts, it needs five volts. You gotta put five volts, three volts won't do it. Maybe 4.5 will be okay. Another pin is ground, and then there's a trigger pin, so that's actually a numbered pin, and an echo pin, another numbered pin. Now it just so happens that this has a Grove port. It's got a couple Grove ports, but it's got one Grove port with five. And Grove port is just, just an easy connection for sensors. There's a whole bunch of sensors out there called Grove sensors. Um, so they come with these um, white plugs. And it's got four, there's all different numbers, threes, fours, fives. Um, this one needed four. Now, if you don't have any Grove uh, cables, you don't need them. I did the same exact thing by using female to female jumpers and just going ground, voltage, trigger, and echo. Uh, just on the five volt bus here. So either way will work. I tried them both. Um, now it's just a matter of setting up code and doing some logic. I just have this that um, if I come closer than 20 centimeters go red. So, but one pixel staying up. There's a problem with the last pixel when I don't use all 30. I don't know what. So like the 24th pixel is just does just funny things. So you see it pretty much change in red when I get close to 20 centimeters. That's all I have in the code. You can get that code as tricky as you want. So again, it's an ultrasonic. It's sending out nice high pitch sound, getting an echo back, and doing a distance measurement based on that. So here's the code. Again, there's a maker bit extension that you need to add if you want to use the maker bit. And in there, they have an ultrasonic. So the first thing I used was connect ultrasonic and then I used this comparison thing. You can also use this bar, ultrasonic distance in centimeters, um, in other logic bars together. Uh, so here's our basic, you know, on start, say there's a NeoPixel strip, uh, turn off the LED, set all LED pins low, and connect the ultrasonic sensor with a trigger and an echo. And then just my forever loop, if the distance is less than 20 centimeters, show red, else show green. Again, you can make that logic as difficult as you want in multiple colors. Now what I mean by putting um, that pin and that, that, that bar into other logic things, other comparison things, I could have done this. I could have taken that maker bit ultrasonic distance, dropped it in there, and then get ah shoot. I moved it too far. So you could try and see it. So I'll move this out of the way. Notice how this this is bracketed in like a triangle. So that's what I needed, a triangle to jump into that if. So I could do this. It's, it's, if you need different logic than what less than gets you. Is, okay, then less than 20. That will do the exact same thing that the bar I have in there. If you need to, that's how one way for you to play with the logic other than if it's less than. Because that's all that maker bit says is less than. So there is a nice distance sensor. Easy to hook up again. Needs five volts. Um, needs a voltage ground and then two pins. Needs to, so there you go.